What's up, Sushi Squad? We back again for some more Trove, 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 and I'm sorry, guys. I didn't even know that Luxian was here yesterday. I completely, like, I, I was so busy with things. Uh, just lots of real-life stuff was going on, and uh, on top of that, I was just thoroughly addicted to Minecraft Dungeons and then rushing that Resident Evil video and stuff. Either way, it got away from me, I, I, and for some reason, like, I wasn't really checking Discord, so I didn't notice anybody mentioning that Luxian was here, and I didn't even check my calendar, and it's just, bleh. Anyways, I'm, I'm sorry. So Luxian's here. Uh, we did end up missing a day of him, unfortunately. So that means he's going to be here for today, going into tomorrow. And then after that, he's gone because he shows up every second Friday, pretty much. Uh, funny enough, the only reason I even noticed that he was here was I, I saw the notification on Steam that, that he was available. Oh gosh, water went down the wrong tube. Or is it that in 20, like, rip me. I'm, I'm going to die. I have it, guys. I've caught it. Okay, I'm joking. Anyways, uh, his inventory is... I don't know. It, it's not that great, honestly speaking. Like, it's a good amount of mastery, but there's not really enough worthwhile to end up going out of the way to get all this stuff, at least as far as I'm concerned. You know, it's not like he's selling the Dread or anything. He's selling a couple allies that are literally the same price as amount. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense, does it? Uh, so there's the Golden Horde Dragon. So, by the way, I'm sorry I'm not using face cam. I just want to rush this video, okay? I'm like kind of ill uh, and a little, just I, I'm a little bit sick and under the weather. I, I'm doing fine. It's just I, I want to be in complete darkness right now rather than having a face cam and a bunch of lights. Anyways, uh, so the Golden Horde Dragon Soul is going to end up being the first big thing. You can buy 15 of those every visit. Uh, and that's going to end up getting you the dragon badge, whoopsie daisy, uh, for the golden dragon, whatever. Uh, tons and tons of mastery out of this. And then ultimately, this is going to end up being the final mount. And it's pretty cool. I still really like this mount. I, I love the video effects of the fireball. Yes, I'm going to show this off pretty much every time because there's no reason not to. I don't know what this frame stuttering is going on here. Hopefully, that's not happening uh, in the video for you guys. Oh, it might be because of this. <laughs> oh god no it was a trap <laughs> jeez who's got the evil cornerstone man uh anyways before we continue i, I do want to say just because i almost completely forgot if you would kindly if you are new to trove you use that sign up link in the description down below and you can buy anything out of the store and it helps yours truly i'll get a percentage of the sale which is a fantastic way that you can support me while we're all staying indoors just playing video games all day uh so then you can also get streamer dream box 2 uh so these are going to end up being vanity allies uh you can end up seeing their streamer dream box one it's not marked two and three uh so this is going to be any of these allies out of the third category you'll buy the box consume it uh and it'll end up giving you any of these which were based off of streamers back in the day and we've got a taco ally so that's the best one because tacos are like the gamer fuel of the gods uh you can only buy one of these unfortunately and then you can buy five of luxian's style stash so what these are going to do is unlock a random seasonal event pinata or luxian equipment style i don't know why it says luxian equipment style because as far as i know in order to get the luxian equipment styles like i, I thought you had to get it through your uh dragon badge but may maybe i'm wrong about that i don't know uh but anyways that's how you end up basically you can buy these for 15 dragon coins a pop and they'll give you like one mastery each which is disgusting uh and then we got the weevil wall trophy this is pretty much a beginner's trap don't buy this unless you're a collector of trophies because as far as i know the trophies that luxian sells usually are trophies that you cannot obtain anymore i could be wrong about that uh anyways let's move on to the blizzard behemoth that's that's how they say it in like britain or whatever uh, we just call it behemoth because that's how it's spelt. Uh, but anyways, we got this guy right here. He's actually really cool. Uh, one of my more favorite of the butterfly mounts. I mean, there's a lot of these, but this one just looks really, really fancy. I just like the way that it's all blue and everything. And it's got the clear wings and it's all winter themed. Kind of inappropriate that Luxian's selling us a winter themed thing when we're in spring going on to summer. But hey, whatever, I'll take it. Uh, the mount itself obviously glides. And uh, what, what, what else does it do? I, I think it actually gives uh, full on. Okay, I messed that up. Oh, Behi Dash Moth. Oh, that's a terrible pun. So it gives 100 mastery. So that's really good, uh, especially if you're just trying to buy Luxian's inventory out of just mastery. 
because honestly speaking it's gonna be cheaper to buy this than it would be to buy two mounts from him that'll end up giving the same mastery so it's like okay uh, obviously for a starting player 100 dragon coins is pretty expensive even for me it is except i've got the epic gamer number right now uh most of all just because i haven't uh, I haven't been buying any of the dragon packs because there hasn't really been anything I've needed dragon coins for. Then there's going to be the Tranquil Tentacle, which oddly enough, this ally seems to be tradable now. If I can buy it, it means it's tradable because I already own it. Uh, same with the bike over here, but the Shamrock one, that was an event ally, so it's still untradable. Uh, you just unlock it once for yourself. And then the Tentacle one, as far as I remember, that was from an event too. Maybe it was dropped. I don't really 100% uh, remember, but you can see it's just right there on the ground. It's a tentacle. I don't know. I kind of like it. It's not really fully disgusting, but it is kind of disgusting at the same time. Why do you guys stand inside me? What's your problem? Uh, so it's going to give you three maximum energy and 15 energy regen. Obviously not an ally that you want to actually use outside of maybe vanity. If you really like Cthulhu tentacles, whatever. Nowhere near as agitated as some larger versions you may have encountered. Only during the event. Otherwise, nope. But it's tradable. Uh, I don't think that it's going to end up being something worth investing in because it's an ally and it's kind of a crummy ally at that. Uh, you know, we're not talking about like the, uh, what is it? These guys right here, the hecklings. These things are selling like hotcakes. They're so expensive, dude. I did not see that coming. I hope that the heck bug event next year is pretty much just the same event because that was actually a phenomenal event, wasn't it? Uh, anyways, the shimmying shamrock is going to be the next one right here. I have on my ice sage. Uh, it's kind of adorable. It's kind of cute. I only just realized now not that it's a four leaf clover I only just realized that that is a like leprechaun hat. Oh My god, this thing is adorable like uh, especially because you know, I got I'm of Irish descent Okay, listen to the sound that I speak like the way that I talk. Oh my god I can't even speak proper English let alone talking with an Irish accent that was terrible i'm sorry don't dislike this video please like it instead okay i need i need this i'm kidding uh the ally itself i mean it's adorable i kind of like it uh the stats on it obviously aren't gonna be that great seven percent to attack speed 1.5 percent to crit hit sometimes when no one is looking it does a little dance of joy yeah that's right it, it dances on its own no it doesn't you can just type slash dance if these freaks would stop standing inside me then i could actually do the dance mode and show you guys what it looks like but for some reason there's something like actually wrong with you but whatever that's cool i love you guys to death thanks for joining and uh, joining me in this world why can i not speak today who's doing that which one of you freaks is watching this video using your uh, freak like mutant powers to control my tongue to trip over itself over and over you want to know what it sounds like when your tongue trips over itself blah, blah, blah. this is the kind of stuff that you guys subscribe for okay like it's it's not my fault uh and then there's going to end up being the steaming cycle which i like it just because it's an actual motorcycle with spinning wheels plus it's steampunk theme which i mean it's not my favorite steampunk it's not my favorite but i i do like the motorcycle I like any of the motorcycles that actually have spinning wheels because once upon a time there was the neon cycles that were in the store I, I don't think they're there anymore and those didn't have spinning wheels and even back in the day I kept saying how I would love to have them have spinning wheels so it's nice that we have these reskinned bikes not to mention this one just kind of reminds me of Lego just because it's very very cube like you know like not all the motorcycles are as cube as this but I mean it's it looks good right like doesn't it Anyways, that's going to end up being it out of Lexian's inventory. Is the steaming cycle actually worth it? Probably not. Yeah, 80, 85. I mean, that's not really, it's not really worthwhile. Uh, if we also go to recently equip, you can see the mastery out of all of these. 100, 10, 10 for the allies, uh, 50 for this bad boy, 250 for the full on dragon. Like, honestly speaking, if you can get the golden horde dragon souls, uh, ultimately, the golden horde dragon souls to get a hundred of them uh, not to mention you know lexi and only visiting every second week so it's extremely time gated but it's gonna cost you around uh, i think it costs 400 dragon coins because it's a hundred over the normal amount but the whole point is that you're getting the dragon without um you know without actually getting uh, a dragon egg or any other resources it's just the dragon coins all raw but anyways 
Uh, this video is already longer than it should be. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Smash like, sub for more, hit that notification bell, and have yourselves a fantastic day, everybody. Uh, today should be another Minecraft Dungeons video. Just saying because you guys seem to actually be into it, and my god, that game is really addictive. Uh, and then tomorrow we'll have probably a troll video talking about the Shadow Tower changes or something like that. I I'll figure it out. I God, I have poo brain today. I, I wasn't really planning on recording anything today in all honesty. It, it just Luxian was here. So it's like, whoops, I, I guess I better do it. Thanks for watching though, gamers. Have a great day.